Hey, it's Angel. I'm back, finally doing another garden tour. Lots of things have changed. I'm gonna work my way from the front yard to the backyard, try and show you as much as possible. So here we go. So this here is the front of the house. The zinnias have come in really beautifully. We have the trellises with the climbing squash and gourds and cucumbers and melons. They're doing good. Some of them are piddling out. Some of them are just starting. That's a good thing about growing different kinds of cucumbers. You get some earlier and some later. Now here between the zinnias and the trellis, I planted a few okras. They're not very big yet, but they've got flowers and the start of some little okras. So we might get a little bit of a crop of okra this year. This is the first time I've had any kind of success with Kajari melons, and this one here is just now starting to turn. I'm a little worried because the plant itself is really looking bad. We've seen squash bugs and just kind of at that point where most of the the gourd melon squash cucumbers piddle out. But hopefully we'll get some Kajari melons and I think it trellised over here to the other side where I've got spaghetti squash growing. Can you see the butterfly? So pretty, they love the zinnias. We've got quite a few spaghetti squash coming on here. Over here is the cuca melons. Let's see if you can see. They're just little tiny cucumbers that kind of have a little bit of a melon lime taste, really. These cucumbers here are like a brown cucumber. So they haven't like gone too long and are ready for seeds. This one back here in the back, it might be ready to pick here in the next day or so. But the more brown they get, the readier, the more ripe, ready they are to eat. <laughs> here is the arch trellis. The rabbits had ate all the beans that I had planted to grow on this, so I did another sowing of beans. And it looks like we're having a little bit better luck with them. They're starting to pop up, so hopefully this will be covered soon. We've got a volunteer tomato plant in there that is starting to produce some good tomatoes. And Jay did a second sowing of zucchini right through here because our first round is starting to peter off. Here on the arch trellis, I planted a couple of long squashes. They took a long time to take off, but they're finally climbing up. So we'll see how that goes. And the fig trees are just doing awesome. Here is one of our fig trees. As you can see, we're starting to get a quite a little collection of little baby figs on there. So hopefully we'll have our first harvest this fall. Over here we have lemon cucumbers are just starting to take off. These are one of my favorite cucumbers. They're really good for single servings, so if it's just one person, you don't really want to eat a whole big giant cucumber, these are perfect, and they're really good flavor. This here is a little melon. We went to a farmer's market a couple of years ago and saved the seeds from these little melons that we got there that were delicious. And I believe this is one of the plants from those seeds. This here is a small dragon egg cucumber. Oh, there's another one in there. See, that's a bigger one. They are another really good single serving size cucumber. And Jay planted the pickling cucumbers and they uh, came in quick and early and are still producing, but they're starting to peter off. 
These started coming up not too long after that, and then as they're petering off, the lemon cucumbers are coming in. Squash bug is trying to hide from the camera. Can you see him? Here is the side trellis where the pickling cucumbers were, or are. There's still quite a few cucumbers growing on it, even though the plants are starting to look a little spent. Here are the bags that we planted our bush squash in. Jay went through and some had died, and so he replanted some radishes and beets, maybe some turnips. I'm not sure what all he planted. But we still have a few squash coming in here and there. The past couple of years we haven't had a great squash harvest. This year has been better than last year though. Here we have another volunteer tomato plant. It looks like that tomato is cracked. But I've gotten one off of it so far, which was a bonus. That's good. This trellis here, you can see climbing. That's hyacinth bean. It'll be really, really pretty in the fall, and it's already starting to kind of go crazy. On the other side of it, the borage is kind of petering out, but it did really good. That was fun first year for that. The cosmos over here have gotten really big, and then I've been trying, if you see like right here, these are seeds. So I've just been trying to grab those and take those in whenever I can. We have lots of Cosmo seeds. This is the closest trellis to our house. Jay planted a lot of melons and cantaloupe and just different kind of personal sized melons. We've gotten a couple of little melons, but this is pretty loaded with a lot of melons for us. So we have pulled out a lot of things that were at their end and replanted a lot of things here around the white picket front fence in front of the house. We've done almost the entire thing replanted. So let me show you what we've done. Here on this side, it had been pulled out since I let the baby bok choy go to seed and I replanted a bunch of dragon tongue beans. They apparently love the heat and germinated super fast and they have done really good. And I believe the rabbits have for the most part left them alone. Then down here, uh, oh look. We have a little pretty caterpillar. Look at that guy. On the parsnips. Must like parsnips, whatever he is. That's pretty cool. Here at the end, I have some little shamrocks in a pot there, and this volunteer tomato plant came up. We're starting to see some tomatoes on it. That's always nice to have little freebie tomato plants. Over here on this side, planted some spinach, and I think it's been too hot for it to germinate. And then we did some Swiss chard over here in front. We've got a few of those popping up. I'm excited about that. Hopefully once it starts cooling off, they'll do better. Here we have some little squash, some little round squash. Back here in the back, there's a good sized patty pan ready to be picked. Got some dill growing here, and then this random corn popped up. So we're just letting her hang out. Over here in this bed, what I thought were strawberries, but I'm thinking our blackberries are kind of going a little wild. Still have some petunias. The sorrel has kind of died back, but it's still got new growth coming in, so I'm feeling pretty confident. I haven't lost it. The sage is doing amazing. I'm really excited about being able to harvest a lot of sage this year. I've got a basil plant back there by the window, 
and then the thyme as always is doing amazing. The hibiscus has kind of petered out. There's not very many blooms on it anymore. Those brown pods have seeds in them. I'm not sure how well the seeds grow because I've only started mine from cuttings. Here in front of it, we've got the few strawberry plants that did really good this year. And then I planted another type of bean. I'm not, can't really remember what it was here in front. And so they have come up and are doing really, really well. This bed here, look how big that hibiscus got. So it's like almost up to the roof. It's huge. And then my rose bush bloomed a couple more times. I'm hoping I'll get some more blooms in the fall when it cools off a little. Petunias are doing good. It needs some TLC. There's kind of some stuff going wild in here. Over in this bed, I never did pull out the irises. But as you can see, some echinacea just kind of popped up out of nowhere. And I've been trying to grow echinacea, not here, <laughs> but it's good to see it in my yard. Over here, this is what I'm hoping will become my mint bed. There's some mint that is still kind of struggling, but staying alive here. And I need to come in and weed it. But I have five different types of mint planted here. It's off to the side. I don't care if it goes crazy here. Okay, so out back in like my back porch where we let the dogs out area, we've got a lot of things growing really good. Some things are kind of struggling. We've gotten a lot of things done. It's just really hard to keep up with everything, but it's doing pretty good for the most part. Down here we have some spicy oregano, and then here are the plants we have yet to plant. Some blueberries and some tomato plants. Here's some more shamrocks, some chives back here. My poinsettia is doing really good. Kinda has a little bit of damage on some leaves, but it has gotten huge over the summer. The daisies have kind of petered out, but they're still holding on to their green. My poor lemon thyme, I don't know what is going on with it. Seems to be struggling. Another wandering dude. My weeping fig. Some spider webby mother-in-law tongues. Over here, I have my clematis. I moved it out of the sun because it was struggling pretty bad and it seems to have part of it that still is dying off and struggling. Not sure what to do if it's in too much shade now. Maybe need to find another place for it to have a happy medium. We have some pineapples back there. We're getting ready to move back up front. A mango tree some lime trees and here in the front is ginger i have some chocolate mint over there lemon balm the pomegranate tree which is producing lots of flowers but i haven't really seen anything that looks like fruit yet hopefully we have a little basil in the back I think that's some ragweed that grew up, some rosemary, some thyme, and here, this is a Carolina Reaper pepper plant from last year. The only successful overwintering pepper plant that we have done, and it is loaded with flowers. Hanging up over here, I have my wandering dude. Climbing and just looking beautiful. Down here, I have some sweet potato vines planted, kind of draped around my own gnome. All right, here in the backyard, things have gotten a little wild and gotten a little crazy. So let me show you what we have going on. Here is Jay's tomato bed. We have lots of bigger tomatoes that are starting to come on. 
The tomatoes have really struggled this year. We've had a lot of white flies and blossom end rot, but we still are getting quite a few tomatoes. The perennial bed with the asparagus and the rhubarb. I have not been weeding this because this is where I released the baby praying mantises and I was giving them time to exist without being disturbed. It doesn't look like much over here, but these is this is a row of some pepper plants. We've got some peppers growing here and there. Not doing as good as the ones around the fence. My mugwort here is so big it's falling over. I think I might try and trim it, harvest what I cut off, and see if I can kind of get it to bush out a little. I think that's what I'm going to try. Here we have lots and lots and lots of peppers. Lots and lots and lots of peppers. It goes all the way down here. As you can see, we've got some turning red all the way ripe. It's about time to come out and harvest again. That's about an every other day adventure. Here is another tomato bed. We've got some flowers growing in there, nasturtiums, different things. Cherry tomatoes, some little saladette tomatoes. There's some big slicers in there. Jay is super excited to have red Tabasco peppers this year. He is wanting to make his own homemade Tabasco sauce. And the last two years he has not had any red Tabasco peppers. Very exciting. Here we have lots and lots and lots of peppers. Here's a big tomato that looks like it's ready to be picked. This is one of my tomato beds. Some of them are doing good, some of them are not. It's equaling out though. Lots of tomato plants. Lots and lots of tomatoes coming on. Here, I want to show you this. It doesn't look like much, but these ox heart tomatoes I think are going to be my glory tomatoes this year. My red currant tomatoes are looking like they're going to be the first ones to succumb to the blight. And as you can see, they have produced tons. It's just really kind of tedious to get out here and pick all of those little tomatoes, but they're really fun to put in salads. This bed here, we planted really pretty late. And if you've seen the videos before, you know that we had a tomato plant that we started last year. It kind of got forgot about and then we overwintered it and it got really huge but no flowers on it. And this is that tomato plant. Jay buried it long ways and left three of the stems coming up out of it. So there, those three plants are one plant. He planted some more peppers, looks like a basil in here as well with the giant tomato plant. This corn looking plant is broomstick corn. I had planted most of my seeds last year and didn't get any luck from them. Got this one soul corn. I'm hoping that that's enough for it to go to seed because I would like more seeds. Here we have, I think they're straw flowers that we planted. We had no idea they would get this tall. Look how tall they are. They're competing with the tomato plants and being tall. Kind of a wild aisle. Some more big old tomato plants hopefully going to ripen up for me soon. It seems like they have been green for months. More peppers, lots and lots of peppers. Did I say a lot of peppers? I did put some four o'clock seeds over here, but it doesn't look like any of them had started to germinate. Hopefully maybe when it starts to cool off a little. My horseradish is huge. My moonflower back here, hanging on. It hasn't grown much, it hasn't done much of anything. It's just 
kind of there. And then this aisle here is, is definitely a wild aisle. But isn't it so beautiful? I just think it's beautiful even though it's so overgrown. It's like a secret garden. Look at this big guy. We have harvested a lot of peppers and we still have lots more to harvest. Here are Jay's cherry tomato plants that he staked up. And they've kind of gotten away from us. Bushed out on both sides, but it is a very good screen so the dogs can't see people walking down the road. Less barking, that's good for everybody. Here are some more of Jay's pepper plants. Got peppers and peppers and lots and lots of peppers. I've been looking at this one because you can see a bunch of them on the other side of the fence. I'll have to ask him what those are. Well that is pretty much a lot of the garden. Everything that's big, spectacular, extremely ugly. So I thought I would share that with you guys. It's been a while since I did a garden tour. I'm having trouble beating the heat out here, as you can see. But it's doing really good. We're getting a lot of stuff done. We've got a lot of new things planted. We're harvesting a lot. Jay's making all kinds of powders and sauces and different things. Hopefully we can get some videos made to show you guys some of that. And I hope you all enjoyed my little view of my garden. Hope you have a wonderful day. I love your guts.